Hi guys, uh, sometimes you might be trying to format a hard drive uh, or a USB stick and you find that there's no option to format, it's just blanked out. Uh, I'm going to just show you a workaround for this kind of issue. Uh, so I'm guessing you've been using the disk partition tool, but if not, go down to the search box and type in disk with a K. And when create and format hard disk partitions comes up, click onto it. And from here we can format our hard drive or USB stick. But let's just have a quick look here. If I right click on this partition, this is the drive that we want, disk one. This is the one we got plugged in. I've got this plugged in with an external hard drive reader. Don't touch the disk zero, that's your own computer's hard drive. Uh, if I right click onto it, look, there's no option format. It doesn't, it doesn't give me any options to do anything with it there. And also if I click over here and right click onto this, if I try and convert it, for, if I try and convert it to dynamic disk, uh, it doesn't do anything. So the way to get around this so that you can format the hard drive is to close this down first of all. We're going to go to the command prompt. So click into the box CMD. Click on run as administrator. This is really quick and easy to do guys so um, hopefully this will solve the problem for you. Click on yes. And when the command prompt opens up we're going to type in disk part. All one word. Now we're going to just list the disks that the computer can see, just so we know. As I was saying previously, disk zero is your own computer's hard drive, so you always leave that one alone. What we want to do is select disk one, so we type in select disk one. Disk one is now selected and we just type in clean. Okay, disk part successfully cleaned the disk. We should be able to clone to close this down now. Go back to disk partition. Type in disk. Open create and format hard drive partitions. And it now asks if you want to initialize a disk. And we do. We're just going to select MBR here. Now it shows us that the hard drive is unallocated. We've got an unallocated hard drive partition here. If I just right click onto it, click onto new simple volume, click on next, click on next. It's going to assign the hard drive with the letter D, which is great. Click on next. It's going to format it as NTFS, which is what we want. Click on next and finish. Okay, there you go. Your hard drive has now been formatted and it's now recognized by the computer and ready to use.